I am trapped in a jail cell. Trap noob ourselves. Attempting to trap baby Preston. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all 17 different ways to trap your friends. Okay, you guys, so I have now found Preston's second house. I mean, he's had like 25,052 houses, to be exact. I have once stayed in Preston's house for 24 hours, and it went pretty successfully, if I do say so myself. We're just gonna try to do that again, even though he uh, moved to get away from me, even though I'm his wife, and I should be allowed to stay in his house. He really likes himself because he's always just putting his face on the front of his house. It'd be nice if he put his wife's face on the front of his house. I am just being silly. He is such a good decorator. You know, this is beautiful. It has such an open layout. We have so much going on in here. His kitchen is locked. Um, his, I don't know. This is maybe a bedroom. I don't know what's going on, but there, you can't get in there. You can't get in there. Let's see, it's like leading me over here. Should I go down here? There are torches leading me down a stairway to a floor with holes in it. I don't know if I feel good about this or bad about this. You know when you're like faced with puzzles like this, turn left or turn right? I guess I will turn right and go down this spooky staircase. I don't know what's happening. What are you hiding in all of these chests? Let's look, let's hope there are rubies. Empty chest number one, empty chest number two. You know, why would you have this many chests if they're all empty? He looks like he may have seen something. That's all I am going to point out. He's kind of looking like he's spying on people. Like, I don't know. I don't trust this photo of Preston. He's looking at something that's going on. Like this video if you find this photo suspicious because I don't, or because, <laughs> because I do. There's something about it. Hmm. That happened way too fast that my brain didn't even process what just happened. And am I standing inside a photo? And now there's a hallway with a torch. Please tell me there's not a zombie about to attack me. Is Preston down here? Why would you even make a photo to hide a hallway behind? You can't even see the rest of your house. Oh no, Preston, you really need a maid. You know, if you invited me to your house, I am very clean. I could help clean all of the cobwebs down off the ceiling. Although, these prison cells? Who are you holding captive? Are these the people who you lost to in Call of Duty? Preston gets pretty mad when he loses in Call of Duty. These are probably those players. Oh, okay, this one's open. Maybe if I go in here, something will give me a clue. <laughs> Just Wait. like I planned, you fell into my trap. Mm, okay, so now I am trapped in a jail cell, and uh, I can surely say this has never been something I have experienced before. Preston, even though he's my loving husband, has trapped me in here. I feel like he's trapped me in many things now before. This is interesting. So, uh, there's gotta be a trick around this. Maybe it's in the furnace, or I surely thought a crafting table would come in handy. You know, honestly, for a jail cell, we have about everything we could possibly need. There is like an awkward hole under the bed though. Wait, is that like a lever? Why would you put a lever under the bed? Is that how you flush the cauldron? Is the cauldron a toilet? Let me see. The wall just opened. Am I getting out of here? If I jump on that torch, that is going to hurt. Where am I going? This house is full of mazes. Uh, I don't know which way to go. We have this way, which goes nowhere. Okay, well, that answers my question. We're going in here. I'm gonna take a lot of fall damage with this one, so we have to think clearly and wisely. Ah, there has to be another lever in this one. Maybe it's in the same place. Okay. What a witty way to hide things. They're just in the same place. If you're gonna have a jail cell, you have to hide things better. Okay, well, it also would help if I know how to click them, I guess, but you know, it didn't take me that long. Is this where I came from? I'm getting lost. That wasn't bad. You know, that's not bad. And now all of them are open. They look like they're ready to be served as well. They have their like little mealtime trays. They all just deserve some cake. Oh, oh gosh. What is going on, Preston? I know you are up to something and it is no good. This has been a very long day and I don't appreciate it. Okay, what am I supposed to do down here? Okay, let's go. I'm determined to make it through here. We've got this. I'm almost there, I can see the tunnel. That was easy. Preston, you tried to, you know, not let me get to this wooden room, whatever this is, and that was easy. Even though I'm 
really bad at swimming. That's besides the point. Okay, let's see what this little boat looking wooden room is all about, huh? Oh, it's kind of pretty actually. Oh no, Preston, really? Why do you always place parkour everywhere and why would you put a torch right in front of where I'm about to jump? Woo, that was very dangerous. Also, you already know I'm gonna fall so you've conveniently placed a ladder right there. I actually do appreciate that. You guys, in order for me to pass this parkour, you know what I'm gonna need you to do? You need to look under this video and if that subscription button is red, please make it gray right now because I'm not gonna be able to make this very easily. Look, there's only like three hovering wooden blocks. How do I possibly do this? I did see some levers in that room, but you know what? I'm gonna try and make this one. Okay. I don't even think Preston could make these jumps. Oh, do you think I have to jump from here to this ladder? No, there's absolutely no way. I am going to do some investigation really fast. So I pulled a lever upon entering this room just cause I wanted to. What if there's some other ones? Do you think there are already? Oh, another one. Let's see, did anything happen? Did something happen? I don't even know if anything happened. I'm gonna look for some more levers. I don't even know. This one, wait, uh, did I already pull this one? Guys, I don't even remember which levers I have pulled. I'm gonna pull another lever, re-pulling them to see if anything else changes. Ah, ooh, what if there's some in a chest? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Wait, those silver boxes were not there before. They will be necessary. Even if I don't know how to jump on top of them, that will come at a later time. Ooh. How many levers are there? I need as many as possible in this situation. <gasps> I don't think I pulled that one. Maybe. I'm probably pulling them all 20 times. Okay, let's see if I can do this now. Believe in me. Comment that you believe in me. That would be really nice of you. Now I can do this ladder. Aw, I was trying to encourage myself for the very first time and then I fell. That was very sad. But this is making it quite a bit easier. Okay, okay. You know what, that's progress. All you can hope for is some progress. That was some great progress. Ah! Okay, one, try. Ah, hot potatoes. Oh, you don't even know how long I've been trying to go from that ladder to this box. I haven't bored you with the details, but uh, we'll talk later. We don't have to talk about it right now. Ah! Ah! I am getting my uh, exercise in now. Oh! Okay, there is no way in Sunday that I'm going to make it over there. I'm really intimidated by what I'm seeing. You know, if I thought that was hard, this is gonna be great. Oh! Touchdown, Cowboys! Yes, I'm a Cowboys fan, and if you wanna hate on me because they've had a rough season, <laughs> That's all I have to say. I've been a mess today. If I fall right now from the tallest block in the entire parkour, I will die. Now this is a precarious situation because I'm still very tall. I am above water and I am very far from the next block. Plus, I'm almost done. And that would just be very infuriating. No! I've made it back. Okay, it took some time. Ah! Second time's the charm. And uh, if I fall on some torches, I'm gonna smell great. I'm gonna be a great barbecue. I'm a little afraid about what Preston is hiding because he has jail cells, he has secret paintings, he has torches, he has parkour, he has like boats and water. And that's a little more intense than sometimes. Maybe it's a Christmas present. What's down here? Symmetry challenge. Good thing I'm good at symmetry. I mean, I did uh, go to college. We didn't really talk about symmetry in college though, I'm not gonna lie. So it says T, B, and R. I do know that. This would be a lot easier if I was in like creative mode and I could fly. But apparently I can't. And I have a ton of uh, red sand. Guys, please leave a comment down below. This looks very orange to me. That does not look red. That is definitely orange. But we are going to start with the red sand with the T. I can do this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. The T is going well. One, two, three, four. Yes, T is easy. Okay, one, two, 
three, four. This tea is beautiful. I've never seen a prettier tea in my entire life. This bee is looking bodacious. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, is that how it goes? And then you like do that and that? I think that's how it went. In one, two, three, four, five. Guys, if I make this wrong, I'm gonna be very sad. <gasps> how many far is it? One down from the T, one over and one down. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. This N is going to look great. One, two, three, four, five. And then I think they connected this horizontally, which I don't fully understand. Up to down. I don't know that that looks right. Oh, nope, this is wrong. This is wrong. We needed one more here. One block, and then you build the N. Uh, guys, this is it. There is the N. It's ugly and it's beautiful. Here is the R, I think. Okay, so I need to see if this is correct. Let me see. Let's see if I'm right, guys. I'm incredible at symmetry. What did I tell ya? Let's move on to the next room and hope it is not a pineapple. I really don't know what he's hiding down here, so I really have no idea. Actually, I would like to see a pineapple. I love pineapple. Well, what's in here? I was gonna say I'm really short, but I realize things are up high. But what I realize now is everything's on the ceiling. I think Preston had had a really long day when he made this house and maybe he just wants me to be here to help him. Maybe he's putting me through some trials and tribulations because he needs me to figure out how to help him. Like, obviously this has sprung a leak. He needs me to help him rearrange some furniture. I need to get up this ladder. There's even a hole up there. How do I get up there if there's a leak and the ladder's broke? There's gotta be a ladder that's actually working somewhere. It's not that way. Uh, furnace. A stick? Maybe I can use a, a stick somewhere? I don't know why I'm finding sticks, but I'm gonna keep these sticks that look like keys just in case, but I'm very glad there's 25,000 pieces of ladder that I can use. Ah, I'm gonna fall. It's fine, but I am falling. Building as you go. I am very impressed with myself. This is not the easiest quality to have, but thank you. I will be here all week. Woo, hot diggity dog. I hope I need to use this key at some point because it's very snazzy. Something growled at me. Okay, I hate these things because they look like they would absolutely kill you and hate you, but they're actually supposed to be your friend. Hi, I don't know if I should love you or hate you. I don't know. What do you guys feel about zombie pigmen? I find them really scary and I don't like them, but I guess at least they don't harm you. What should I name you? I like the name Larry. Oh no, I'm overthinking everything now. I'm just gonna get to the end of this hallway and try to not die. Carrie and Jerry and Larry, you're you're all in my way because I feel like I need to get to this chest and if I agitate you in any way, I am going to get in trouble. So would you please get off of the chest? You are like very bad puppies. Please get away from me. You are definitely in my way. I need to get my, I need to get my belongings from this chest even though they're actually presents. You know, what are you looking at? You don't smell very good either. I have been put through trials and tribulations. Thank you. I was about to say, I'm about to try to open this without getting hurt. TNT, flint and steel. That's great. Let's just put TNT, flint and steel in a chest upstairs through an upside down room that's flooding with zombie pigmen in a secret area that's inside a jail cell that Bree doesn't know about. Really think all of this through. This has to be placed here for a reason. I hope Larry, Jerry, and Carrie don't get upset about this. I'm really gonna try to avoid you guys if possible, but excuse me, sir, you're gonna have to move, please. Yeah, so uh, I hope you don't lose any limbs in the making of this video, but I think we're gonna have to, oh, move, please, guys. Oh, you're gonna die, no! I literally just woke up from a nap and I thought I had a dream that I went to this random tunnel, but uh, it became reality. I am literally in a random tunnel and it has a lot of random things. Look, a tree over coal, a furnace over coal, dirt over coal. Literally, I have no idea where I am. Let me explore a little bit more. Dirt, 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 cobblestone. Um, lots of beds. Where am I? Literally, I think I'm just dreaming. This feels like Alice in Wonderland. Nothing's upside down though. 
Strage. Hmm. I feel like this may be Noob's house. I don't know. That spelling kind of gave it away for me. Let me see. Fod. Yes. This is definitely Noob's tunnel. To what? Noob, what is this a tunnel to? You left your gate open for anyone to enter. You have a lava lamp, which that's probably the fanciest lava lamp I've ever seen, to be honest, because mine was just like in this bubble and it would go like glitter and then like if it got cold then it would all like crumble and fall to the bottom but yeah so that's actually pretty fancy oh a hot tub i'm getting distracted i am getting distracted why am i here house enter apparently i have no other choice i need to enter noob one two three four's house i have no other choice i have been planted here for a reason and uh leave a like on this video if you would like to see what's inside noob's house it's time to jump into the noob tunnel of house enter three two one dude why would you put torches right where i had to land that is not very considerate ha 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 you fell into my trap i do challenge or die do my challenge or die look noob i don't even know why i'm in your house i literally just appeared here i don't know why and i'm not enjoying it already so please don't kill me wait Wait, no, it's no time to dilly-dally. Let's see if we have any clues. We have a very large puddle over here for no reason, which means he probably has a leak. Wait, what does this sign say? It says, chicken pin, he's away right now. Noob, noob, if you did something to Chuckles, I am going to find you. Plus, I have a secret coming out soon about Chuckles and you can't take it away from me. Sorry, Chuckles, it had to happen. Hey, we've got to hurry. Maybe there's something in these chests to help me on my journey. Furnaces, coal, nothing. Crafting bench, you know what, I'll take that. He has a lot of them, so he won't even miss it. Why would you put a bed over coal? I didn't even notice that. Hey, let's lock the doors behind us because we have 27 and Parkour! You know what? I'm not worried at all because Preston's challenged me to a ton of parkour and Noob made this. So it already looks kind of Noob-y. Noob-esque. Noob, Noob-esque. So we're gonna beat the parkour to open the door. Only way parkour is pro. I am a parkour pro. You know what? I have my Royally B by Bree merch on and it's making me feel like a pro and I've got it. I have all the confidence I would ever need. Why would you put a fence post in a parkour? Noob, come on. So many torches on top of wood, and I don't think that's good for the environment. Maybe that's just me. I'm also hovering very high above this fence post, and I'm very, very afraid of heights. I think I made this way harder on myself. I think I could have stayed over there and jumped right there. But you know what? Bree doesn't need to take the easy way out. Girls are strong. So are boys. Girls and boys are strong, and we have got this. Ooh. I'm gonna stand on a torch and it's gonna feel so great. It is It is pretty chilly today, so I don't mind. What? Has anybody else noticed that none of this is color coordinated? Like I'm literally hopping from a fence to dirt to wood to a uh, you will no make it signs. You know what, Noob? I don't appreciate that. That is very condescending. I am trying to make it here and I need encouragement. You know what guys, if you wanna encourage me, look below this video and if that subscription button is red, make it gray right now because I'm being bullied. Fence, stone. Oh, 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 I see the doors down there. It looks like they're attached to redstone. So if I can reach that lever, it will be attached to the door and then I can open it. Easy, easy as pie. As my grandma would have said, I think. I don't, I don't really know. Can I reach the lever from here? <gasps> whoa, whoa! I am only 5'2", so it could be difficult. Huh. Nope, nope, nope. One more jump. Wah! Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Let's go! Okay, I flipped the lever, the redstone lit up, and shablam, nothing happened. Maybe I did it wrong. Let's flip it again. Three is the magic number. Okay, this is ridiculous. Let's go up here. Maybe it just needs me to walk on it. You know, it needs my magic touch. Oh. You guys, I literally just walked through this door. Noob put this on a pressure plate and the redstone had nothing to do with it. So technically I didn't even need to do that parkour and uh, he didn't put a pressure plate on this side. So I'm now trapped. So if I wanted to go back out and 
escape for my life, I can't. So we can only go forward and press on. And it says, Jaws, the right door, wrong door is die. I feel so confident I'm gonna do it. Sorry, I had to like pump myself up by dancing. So I used to have this baby doll when I was like four and you would, she would say, choose the left or the right. And if you chose right, then she'd tell you a good story. If you chose left, she'd also tell you a good story, but it would change. So I'm used to making tough decisions, okay? That baby doll, it changed me. It had nothing to do with being an ER nurse and having to make critical decisions in the hospital so people didn't die, you know? No, it's definitely the baby doll. Comment down below, would you go through the left or the right? Also, there's like some magical pixie dust back there. I'm gonna go with the left. Guys, no, you gotta get better at your building skills. The right door literally leads to the same place. Noob, I'm sorry. I'm really not trying to harass you. I'm trying to help you at this point. I know you're actually trying to be mean to me because you trapped me in here, but I'm trying to help you. You know what? You could have trapped me better. Now, I am pretty excited for this. It looks like magical pixie dust. Magical pixie dust. I don't often say that, but it does. So uh, I'm just gonna go through here. Maybe I reach the end of this and he's giving me a surprise. Poison room is impossible. Good luck, ha ha ha. Oh good, so I just have poison floating above my mouth and I'm just breathing in a bunch of fumes. That's, that's great. Yes, when you're around poison, don't breathe it in. Put a mask on, run out of that room and immediately jump in the shower or call your mom. So I'm just gonna see what happens if I touch it. Oh, okay, it definitely damages me. Let's not touch the pretty sparkles. There's no way if I can't pass through this that Noob can pass through this. Like, <sighs> Noob, I know you're trying to make me run through here, but if I ran through here, I would die. And then I look back to figure out what to do and there's a hole in the dirt. I mean, I'm very glad there's a hole right there because otherwise I would die. So, uh. You know what, before you find out that I found this, I'm gonna close that gate and run. Okay, what does this sign say? My secret tunnel, poison hurt. Yes, poison does hurt, noob. Why would you put it into your tunnel house? His house looks a lot like a tunnel. I just thought about that. I could definitely give him some decorating tips. But uh, let's go. Oh, I just literally walked through that sign. Okay, oh, okay, it just lets me go through the back. That's convenient. For all of his visitors, he likes to torture them in case, you know, they'd like to go. What's this? That ladder leads to nothing, noob. The ladder literally hits the ceiling. <sighs> I need to help him. Now what? Woo, it looks like a playground. I think I jumped in here way too fast. There's probably something bad that's gonna happen in here. I can feel it. So what is my next challenge? I'm sure, impossible? Hmm, now you have to kill monsters. Ha ha ha, now you die. Oh no, oh no, noob. These are just cute little piggies. Hamlet. Hamlet and I hang out all the time. We're, we're really friends. We're really good friends. And then I have Mary Bell over here and uh, Chester. Um, I think you forgot how to spawn monsters in. You know, they're not monster pigmen. How am I gonna get through though? He told me I had to kill mobs, but there's not any mobs and this door is closed. Guys, I'm a vegetarian almost, especially in Minecraft. I don't wanna kill any pigs. No pigs were harmed in the making of this film. I think I have to kill a pig. I don't want to. I don't want to. I hate all of it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I just have to. I'm sorry. Ah! I hate it so much. Okay, I'm sorry. Did it open? Did it open? I just, I hate it. I literally hate this part of the game. Why can't you just spawn in a Snickers or like some potato chips? I don't want to be eating this cute little piggy. This is awful. I have a cat at home. You know what, thank you, Noob, for letting me out after traumatizing me. I would have been fine with killing a zombie or a zombie pig man. You could have even let me die in Minecraft, but instead you made me kill innocent animals and I'm gonna leave. I am now very mad at you. Oh my gosh, so this wall has sealed behind me. Apparently I can only walk forward and it looks like it might be another parkour. What is this? Um, let's see, how do I get around this? I don't even know. Ah! Um, 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 oh, um, hi, noob. He's been spying on me this entire time. What? What? How is possible? I am just very good at minecrafting, okay? Noob, you just trapped me in here and you're not very good at building. Guess you will have to answer my question. Noob actually has a question. He can think enough to have a question. Or I will activate my trap. Those shoot arrows. Those are the things that shoot arrows in there. 
I told him no, and he's still doing it. Um, what is my biggest secret? Other than um, he is good at dancing, apparently. You know what? That'll be his biggest secret. He is a very good dancer. What is Noob's biggest secret? Guys, put it in the comments what you think Noob1234's biggest secret is. I'm gonna go with you are a very good dancer. He is always going like this in the back, so we'll go with that. It's a secret. I know he doesn't reveal it to everybody. Mon, Mon, Wong, what kind of secret do you have then? Now you die? No, I don't want to die. Noob, that's very aggressive. What is that lever for? Die to arrow. Oh, oh, Noob, Noob, oh my gosh. You set a trap for yourself. That's so sad. <gasps> I would have helped him. I've been telling you guys this entire time. I would have helped Noob with his construction. There's like 50,000 arrows in that wall. I guess I get to keep his house now. No, that's not a funny joke. I think what I need to do now is uh, get out of here. So I'm gonna go on this ladder. Okay, this jump looks a lot simpler. Try one more. No, okay, there are multiple more. Ah! What is with all these ladders, Noob? Finally, finally, the way out. I am so ready to get out of here. Dead end, ha ha ha. Why, why noob? Why go to the effort to make a parkour to nothing? Well, apparently I have to exit some other way. <gasps> Wait, there's the door into where noob was. Let's try and get over there. Possible, is it possible? Ah! This is the only entrance, so I have to make sure I can make it. Three. Two, one. <gasps> Guys, I don't know how I made that because that was pretty precarious. It's literally hanging off of nowhere and I actually made the jump. But uh, let's give a moment of silence to Noob for creating an inappropriate trap that uh, he was trying to kill me with, but then ended up killing him, bless his soul. So we have some books, a bed over a furnace, some dirt over, he really likes cooking dirt and beds. He loves furnaces, a carved pumpkin. I really hope he respawns soon so he can have all of his belongings because I don't think I'm gonna have a use for them. This Spencer trap, put it, press lever. Wait, I actually don't understand that one. Normally Noob is pretty easy to read. He just tells you exactly what he wants, just not very well. This Spencer trap, put it, press lever. Maybe I'll just ignore that for now, I don't know. Farm, oh, this is a really sad farm. The trees haven't even sprouted. The wheat looks like it could use some tillage. Oh, he has lots of hoes though, just in case. We randomly have a cobblestone over your crafting bench. What's up here? So this must be Noob's bedroom, which definitely has a leak of some sorts. He has some uh, random lava. Noob, you have to be more careful in your house. If you have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, you can step in lava. You gotta get that fixed. So we have his bed and a lot of chests, none of which can be opened because he put them too close to the ceiling. Come on, Noob. Ugh, even that one has dirt too close to it. I'm really interested in what he put up there. They must be extra special belongings. That must be what it is. Ooh, this house just keeps going and going. Three farm, three. Oh, instead of tree, three farm, like a lisp. I like it, it's cute. Locked door, keep shut. I really hate to break it to you, but that door is open and it's not locked and I can finally escape in a, I don't even know if you respawn. So I'm definitely getting out of here. You trapped me in your house for far too long. No, how you escape? No way. Wait, he's alive again? No, no. Now what a better way to make baby Preston want to play with an RC car than leaving it on the ground like a mess. That is a great way to make him excited. So we're just gonna look down and place it right here. I don't wanna say this out loud. It sounds so weird, but there's an abandoned building next door and we're gonna lure him into it. I can't find the front door, hold on. Here we are in an abandoned building. I have hidden a ton of obsidian, a door, a press replay, and a, and a diamond pickaxe. We're just gonna make a beautiful, inviting prison cell. Okay, now it's time to execute the plan. So I'm just gonna Pop right over here and, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Mommy, I'm done with my bath. I wanna play with my toys. Yay, toy car. So you can't really tell. I am literally hovering above him. <gasps> I almost gave away my secret. We are hovering above the RC car and we have control of it. So we are just gonna, you know, make him real excited. Is he following me? What the, how my car moving? Come back. 
perfect, perfect. So all we have to do is go to the abandoned building that has a trap in it. This feels so wrong. Baby Preston, here you go. <gasps> mommy, I got pranked. Wait a sec. You did this, Mommy. Oh, no. I guess he figured us out. Let's just run out of here and uh, prep for the next trap. So, I know baby Preston is hiding a secret chest of explosives through this painting. What did I tell ya? And we are going to use them against him. So, we're going to take this TNT and obviously the fire charges. We're going to be combining the fire charge with different materials that will trap baby Preston. A self-imprisoning cobblestone fireball. A bedrock fireball, which traps using bedrock fence fireball, an iron bar fireball. We have an obsidian fireball. So in case you can't tell, I am invisible right now, which is very nice because I can watch baby Preston from afar and he doesn't even know. So, uh, oh, he's placing TNT. Hey, I thought you were going to get some of your explosives from your hidden explosive room. Could you please just get trapped? You know, that'll show mommy. Oh, my gosh, she just exploded my entire house. Now time to throw some fireballs. Ha, 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 it actually worked. So there's the cobblestone fireball. Is he finding his way out? He found his way out. There is the fence fireball, the iron bar fireball. Again, what's with these fireballs? I love that he keeps throwing them. It's wonderful. It's working out very well for me. Obsidian fireball. Bruh, what the heck? And last but not least, the bedrock fireball. Now I'm really trapped. Well, this is perfect. We're going to move on to the next trap. Okay, so trap number three involves technology. Baby Preston is grounded as he should be. And I am reinforcing that with not only that, an iron fence surrounding the entire perimeter of the house. But Preston and I want to have a date night tonight. So I am going to set up a home security system to make sure he does not leave. We are going to craft together some LEDs, microcontroller, a sensor, some wires, and last but not least, some batteries. And there we have it. I now have security cameras and sensors. Hello, I'm so sorry you're grounded for exploding the house. <laughs> I promise I'll stay right here and won't get into any trouble, mommy. Mm-hmm, totally believe you. Now it's time to place the cameras. We have to be stealthy because if baby Preston sees these, I will be out of luck. Okay, so now they are all set and it's time for dinner. <sighs> Sure is nice to get some time away from home. That is very true. This is a very nice restaurant. Motion detected. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I'm able to rotate through different cameras. I can't tell if he's outside yet, but we've got to make sure we trap him by the time he gets here. So, three, two, hee hee hee. Oh no, you don't, sir. He's trapped for good. Take that. <laughs> he looks so sad. Whoa. Where'd this massive wall come from? I'm trapped. Make sure you go ahead, look under this video and subscribe if you haven't. So we can trap baby Preston for a fourth time. Welcome to trap number four. Now this one is going to involve none other than baby Preston's girlfriend. Here I have this beautiful poem. Dear baby Preston, roses are red, violets are blue. I'm at my big new fancy mansion and I'll be waiting for you. So of course, we're out of prison. You know, it, it's natural. Why not? We're just going to use this blueprint to uh, disguise the actual floor plan. Ha! Very Chloe-ified. You know, it does look like a mansion. And it even says this diamond block is from Chloe. So all I have to do is push this button. <laughs> See exactly what we wanted. The diamonds have turned into dirt and there has been an iron bar set. So now we just need to give baby Preston the letter and lure him to the prison. Okay, so I'm home. I see baby Preston. All we're gonna do is uh, ring the doorbell and then just toss this poem. He said he's coming, so I'm going to run. I don't want him to see me. I don't want him to see me. Ooh, a letter from Chloe. Always oh, read. I'm impressed he knows how to read. Cool, she got a big secret house. I gotta go visit. Okay, so if you can't tell, I am invisible yet again. Oh my gosh, he has a flower in his hand. I bought you a flower. OMG, this place is huge. OMG for me? All for you. <laughs> hey, what the heck? 
heck just happened? Oh, oh, I'm not invisible anymore. Mommy, you trapped me again, dang it. Dang it's right, I thought I was gonna still be invisible. Now, I don't mean to brag, but I am a professional at Pokemon Go. So, I thought I would bring those skill sets into catching and trapping baby Preston for yet another time. A Pokeball used for catching and storing Pokemon. I guess as of right now, I'm classifying baby Preston as a Pokemon character. All I have to do is use the tracking device to follow and find baby Preston. Apparently it is in front of us and to our right. I said it and I'm talking about Preston. That was kind of wrong. Oh my gosh, so I found baby Preston and he seems totally clueless about what's happening. So we are just gonna sneak. Don't look back here, please. And throw. Oh my gosh, is he in it? Almost had it, Doug Navid. Ah, I'm not a daylight. <laughs> I'm out of here. Comment down below what your favorite Pokemon is. I think mine is Eevee. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna go back home. Apparently, I need a better Pokeball. Huzzah! I have an Ultra Ball. Now I just need to get all of them to turn into that, and it's time to get Baby Preston back. I think he actually sees me this time. Hi again, Mommy. Your Pokemon didn't even work last time. There's no way you can catch me. Well, watch me, son, just like that. See? I got him. Are you kidding me? Almost had it. No, run away. Are you kidding me? Baby Preston, get back here. You are going to be a Pokemon. Now's my chance. Now's my chance. Now's my chance. Baby Preston was caught. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Idea number six involves impassable water, which I had never even heard of. We are going to use a beacon to create an impassable water beacon. And of course, we have ice because he likes things toasty. Let me go outside and just give you an idea of what this actually means. So if we place down ice and then the water barrier beacon. Okay, so at first I literally thought my computer was glitching, but no, this is impassable. Okay, so now I am at baby Preston's house and I am here ready to cause some havoc. So we are just gonna place some ice snow situations all, I mean, yeah, let's just block all this Preston head situation up. Oh, okay, now that the house is completely surrounded by ice, I'm gonna place down the beacon and, oh no, I definitely should have thought about this before he was hiding in here. Let me go invisible, let me go invisible. Okay, so it's finally morning and it's time to see how baby Preston reacts. Mommy, you pranked me again? Grr, get me out of here. I guess if he knows it was me, I don't have to hide anymore. So for the seventh attempt to trap baby Preston, we gotta get serious. We gotta go out with a bang. First, we need to give the rocket ship the coordinates it needs. So here we go. I right clicked on the red dot and here is our map. And now we are here to actually craft the rocket itself. So we have the thruster, the fins, the rocket tube, the rocket nose, and the iron bars. So we are going to trap the nose per se in the iron bars, and that's going to be the iron trap that latches onto Preston from the rocket. So a rocket nose that can trap someone. Then we have to assemble the rest of the rocket ship. Obviously we need to assemble the rocket ship on the launch pad, because otherwise things will go awry. <gasps> now that I am at the launch pad, we are going to place down the thruster. Oh my goodness. Okay, the thruster, the fins, the tubes. And last but not least, the nose. Yay! How did I fit all that in my pocket? Okay, so now there is a computer over here. We have to give the rocket ship the coordinates it needs. So I have the map. We are going to right click on the computer and map received. Calculating coordinates, calibrating. Lift off! Oh my gosh, there it goes! Here I am back at the launch pad with a cake. I told baby Preston to meet me here. Hi, mommy. Why you want me to come out here? If you step onto the red area, you'll get a big surprise. Hmm, this better not be a prank. No, not at all. See, here's the cake and everything. OMG cake. Is the rocket ship coming? Is the rocket ship coming? I'm super sorry for all the traps. It was just for fun. It is okay, mommy. Pranking is fun. Plus, I love cake. <laughs> Kira, Hello. Can, can you guess whose house we are near right now? I have no idea. This? I do not know. You just followed me and you didn't know where we're going? We were going on an adventure. <sighs> That's true. That's true. This is baby Chloe's house. Baby Preston's girlfriend. Oh, no. Yeah. Do we like her? I do. Okay. I do. But I, I kind of want to prank her. Okay. So, currently, I have... 
toy car wheels, a can of fuel, and a remote control. What do you have? An engine and a crossing table. Ooh, can I borrow that, please? Yeah. I'm gonna try to make a remote control car. What do you think it should do, though? Um, I, that's all you. <laughs> well, since we're wanting to prank her, maybe it'll just go a little bit out of control. She'll be fine, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be okay. Totally fine. Here, you can take this back with you. We have to destroy the evidence. We were never here. Okay, so question. If you were walking out of baby Chloe's house, what place would grab your eye the most? Where should we put this car down? Maybe like here. Okay, okay, right here. I'm going to place it. Oh, oh, okay. Um, does that look what? the same as to you as it does to me? I don't know. It looks like a fancy old Mustang. Well, to me, it looks like a dog. <laughs> I think that's resource pack. I guess it just doesn't work for me. It's like a dog, oh. but it's like made of car parts. It's good. It's good. It's good. So, since this is a prank, you should find a hiding spot because you don't want her to be around here seeing you. When okay. You prank her. Okay. I'll go and hide in the flowers. Okay. I'm gonna hide behind this tree and just say, "Hey, Chloe, check this out." Also, um, I hope I spelled her name right. I guess she did. Oh. oh. Oh, okay. Oh, she sees me. Um, Brianna, what are you doing here? No. <laughs> that didn't work out well. Um, I got you a present. Here, yeah, Kira, you present it. It's it's all you. You've I, got this. I can come out hiding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. <laughs> Is she okay? She, she's fine. I mean, I would definitely hurl at that point because I get motion sick, but... Oh, uh, no. I'm a little concerned for her. I, I know. She said she can't stop it. She can't stop it. Um... What we're going to do is while she's trapped over there, we're going to go come up with a better and bigger plan to trap her next. First trap, really cool car. Uh-huh. Second trap... <gasps> we have to do fast because baby Chloe's right there. She, she's literally right over she? there. Let me see her. Oh, okay. She's, she's approaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have to place this down. I'm going to make a doll, okay? Hear me out. Don't ask why I have a pink doll head in my inventory. It's for a purpose. Okay. Putting speakers. Speakers in the doll. And now I have a pink doll. It's cute. Can you see her? Um, uh, kind of, I think. <laughs> there she is. Wow. Oh, she's I'm an cute. artist. I try. I also have a tree, so we're gonna place the tree down. Okay. It's gonna take a while to grow, so uh, will you do the honors and use this, please? Sure. Beautiful. Oh, Beautiful. Wow. Big tree. <laughs> All we have to do is uh, use this leash, tie it to the tree. Oh, no, the lead is attached to me. Remember I put speakers in the doll? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to lure Chloe this way. Oh, okay. That's how she can hear us. A doll? What is this doing here? <gasps> what happened? I don't understand why they're upside down. <laughs> She's hanging from the tree. Um, she I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I don't think this one was my best. I don't. I don't think this one really worked. There we go. So now she's hanging from the tree. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure this is like legal? Oh, uh, we're gonna move on. Okay, we are on to trap number three. And uh, you really like that fertilizer, don't you? I do. You ready to use it? Uh, sure. I just like that you have it ready to go. <laughs> you never know when something needs fertilizing. That's true. So, rumor has it. Baby Chloe is hiding something in here. So we have to work together to find whatever it is. Okay. Secret. Somewhere. Maybe in here. The closet? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Do you want me to open it? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, here it is. What? What? It's right under here. Do you see that? <gasps> what? Guess. What is that? Okay, so in my inventory, 
Kira. How about you just explain what these are? Um, okay. Should I drink it? Not yet, not yet. Okay, we have a potion of shrinking and a potion of enlarging. Okay. Well, if you would kindly give those back to me. Yes. And then, do you want to see? Like, can you fit through this doorway? Um, oh, I'm assuming that's what that's for, right? I'm, I'm going to see. So, this is potion of shrinking. I'm a little nervous. Oh. Oh, no. Hello. Hi. I feel very small. You look very strange. We're just gonna go in here. It's a, she has cookies in here. She does? She has cookies. I want cookies. All I have to do is replace the cookie with the potion of enlarging and she will get stuck down here. Okay. Okay, I just have to put it by the table. Go upstairs very slowly. <laughs> Where should we hide? Uh, I should we hide in here. Yeah, okay. Oh, I think Brianna is done being annoying for the day. Time to enter my secret room. Are you kidding me, girl? Why did she just announce that? I don't know. I, she's also announcing the enlarging potion. Oh, wow, I'm huge. <laughs> she can't get out. She's stuck down there. Wait, I thought. How do you feel about that one? Um, I like that one. Is she? Is it like reversible? Is she ever gonna be able to get out, or is this hard? Um, we, we don't like to talk about that. Okay. You know, we're, we're just gonna leave slowly because I am still shrunk. Okay. To the fourth track. Kira. Hi. Where are we? I mean, you brought us here. I did? <laughs> no. I did it. I did it. I have a blue ice block and a snowball in my inventory. If I combine those two, what do you think it makes? Um, maybe like a snowman. It makes a ice ball. Oh. I, I would throw it at you, but I only have one. We have to be we have to be super careful with it. Looks a little dangerous. So now we're just gonna go to Chloe's thermostat, which it says it is 24 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very cold. How cold is that where you live? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I don't either. Um, we're just gonna click on the thermostat. Okay. I'm kind of confused it's getting hotter because I hit it with an ice block, but you know what? Hey, we're good. That's like a regular temperature, right? 74 is perfect. <gasps> Here, hide. Uh, hide, hide, um, hide, hide, okay. hide. Better check on the freezer. I knew it was acting up. <laughs> 74 degrees, way too, war way too warm. What's going on? Kira, she probably saw you. Uh, no, she didn't. She's blaming me. It wasn't me. It was her. It oh! definitely was not me. Um, Kira? Yeah? Will you come look at what I did? <gasps> you turned for an ice block. <laughs> Is she okay? She's fine. She's fine. I'm just gonna put the put the freezer back to normal temperature. And you know, we're good. It worked. Oh, they're sleeping? Cute. Aww. I think she is finally warming up to me. What does that mean? Are they talking about me? I feel like I shouldn't be in plain sight. I think she's talking about me. Why would oh she think that you like her after everything? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it nice of your mom to take us to the beach, baby Preston? He's just sleeping. I think she is finally warming up to me. Yeah, Kira, I don't understand that. I no me neither. So I don't remember taking her here. Okay, well, I have string in my inventory and a beautifully large sandcastle. If you would just like to say ooh off ah, really quick. Ooh, that's epic. <laughs> So here I am, and uh, we're just gonna use a string as a tripwire trap. Okay. Set. And uh, I'm just gonna welcome her over this way. I'm very excited. OMG, Chloe, look at this. It's your home away from home. It is time for you to be royalty. She's gonna love it. She's I'm gonna nervous. love it. She's gonna I'm love very it. nervous. Oh no. <gasps> She's sinking. I didn't know it was sink sand. Why are you doing this to her? <laughs> Baby Preston, help! I don't know. We're just trapping her all in good fun. I mean, it's not good to trap people. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I'm. I just got trapped. I'm trying to save her, and I'm trapped. Should I? Should I help you? You're our only hope. Okay. Oh. Oh, never mind. <gasps> I guess. I guess I'm stuck too. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so far, Kira, which one has been your favorite? Which trap has been your favorite? Um, I liked the one with the, the shrinking potion. That was pretty epic. I agree. I agree. But now I have a camera, camera film in magic essence. What do you think that would make? I have absolutely no idea. 
You know what? I don't either. I'm just going to combine them over here. Okay, <laughs> We're going to combine the magic essence, which kind of looks like a witch's hat, with camera film. And we have camera film now enchanted with magical essence. Now, that is vague. Okay. Just have to. So we're just going to call Chloe down. Chloe, come downstairs for a photo shoot. It's time for photos, remember? I hate how much she trusts you. <laughs> Don't say that. It's just time to take a photo. What was that? Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to have to show you this. Ah, uh, Brianna, let me out. Look at it. Oh, no. She's stuck in a picture. Why, why is she in that? <laughs> how do we get her out? I don't know. You guys, before I prank Preston, I just realized when my prank ensues, part of my house is gonna blow up and Jerry may die. So I may have to rescue Jerry. Hold on. Can I put Jerry on a leash? I'm gonna try. Stop, stop scary monster. I hear scary monster noises. Jerry, are you there? <gasps> Jerry's gone. I went to go check on Jerry. Jerry is gone and I walked on the pressure plate and I exploded the house and I had to rebuild it. I didn't show it to you, but there's even a villager with an invisibility potion spying on me because he even heard the madness and he knew something crazy was going on. Before Preston comes back, I feel like I need to gather some more materials for my house. <gasps> but it's nighttime and the creepy things are coming out. Scary things are coming out. What is with all the chicken noises? Ah! No! Oh, a llama! Wait, I'm finding cool things and I'm being hit by a skeleton. I need to take cover, but I need this llama. I need this llama more than I've ever needed anything! Ah! Oh man. Oh! Hold on. Hold on, take cover, take cover. Oh gosh, I'm about to die. I'm gonna die. It's a cruel, cruel world. Hold on, maybe I can hide out in Preston's house. Nobody tell on me. Don't tell on me. I can eat a carrot by Preston's house and run. No, this creeper's following me. Don't follow me, creeper. There's too many lights for you to be over here. You're supposed to die by the lamps. Guys, that's a thing, right? Creepers die by the, stop following me. Rah! I have things to do, and you are harassing me? <gasps> the pigs are escaping! Preston's pigs are escaping! No, 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 he's gonna hate me! He's gonna be so mad at me! That was not the goal! Um, um, hi, um, here. I'll put a couple of you on a leash, and I'll lead you back home. Um, here. I, I'll take you home. Here, let's go this way. I didn't mean to release the pigs. Oh my gosh, this is so much chaos. Um, pigs, pigs, so many pigs. Guys, I should eat some carrots and maybe the pigs will follow me. I have carrots. I'll take some pigs home. Oh, they like me. Piggies, follow me. Piggies, I have carrots. There's plenty of carrots where this came from. Follow me. Follow, oh, a baby pig, a baby pig. Piggy! Come here, come here, come here. Come to the dark side. We have more carrots. Oh, <gasps> yes, it's working. It's working. Come, pigs. Come, pigs. Come. 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 Follow me. I didn't mean to release you, but you shall love me. I have Chuckles the chicken. And hey! Hey! No! No! You shall die! You shall die! No! Where are my pigs? Where are my pigs? Oh, they're still here. These are loyal pigs. They know what they want. Hold on, where are my leashes? Hey, skeleton, leave me be. This skeleton is mean. Please die. You are a mean skeleton. Guys, I want to put the pigs in a cage and the skeleton keeps eating me. No piggies, come back. Freaking skeleton. I hate you. Die, thank you, skeleton. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now it's time for cute pigs. Cute piggies! Cute piggies! Wait, there were three of them. Where's the other ones? Come here. Come in here. No, you don't like. <gasps> Yay! Oh, 
Do they need a bigger wall? Can they jump over fences? Can I feed him? Oh, I can feed myself a carrot, but I can't give you a carrot? That seems mean. Do I need to build a bigger wall for the pigs? They're so cute. I love them so much. Where'd the other pig go? Let's get more of the pigs. Then Preston will really get angry and then he'll definitely fall for my trap. This plan is unfolding nicely. Carrots, 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 so many carrots, so many carrots. Follow the carrots, follow the carrots. Ooh, yes, yes. Follow the carrots, follow the carrots, follow the carrot. Who knew pigs liked carrots so much, you guys? All because a creeper blew up their belongings. Okay, now I have to see what happens with Preston. No, no, don't come out. Wait, are they trapped in the fence? No, you escaped. Come back, come back. Come back in, baby piggy. Baby piggy, you must get in the fence. Come on, follow the carrot. Hold on, I have to go get the baby pig. Piggy, follow me, I have a carrot. Go in here, everyone, join me to close the gate. Yay! Everyone is now in the cage. I love you. I love you. You guys, did you see that llama down there? Hold on. I have to go back down in this cave. This way. Yes, there was definitely a llama over here, you guys. Yes, I see him. Do I still have a leash? Okay, you guys, I found my leash in my inventory, and I'm good to go like a potato fish. But, um, yeah. Oh, no, that was not a good jump. But I have to find the llama. Where did the llama go? Oh, I found another chicken. Where's the llama? Where's the llama? He's hiding in pajamas. Llamas in pajamas. Oh no. I gotta eat a watermelon. It'll save me. Guys, did you see a llama earlier? Whoa, while I'm down here, I'm gonna get some stuff. I just like happened upon some iron. Oh, whoa. I mean, I could grab him. Oh, that didn't go well. That didn't go well. <gasps> Cole, I need Cole. <gasps> Hold on, I just heard a cat. <gasps> There's a llama. Guys, he's tempting me. He's all the way over there. He just jumped. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just got so excited. I just like broke my game. I don't even know what is up in the left side of my screen, but... I heard a cat, I saw a llama, all like within two seconds of each other and I got ridiculously excited. Oh my gosh, you guys, Preston just logged onto the server. I'm gonna have to get this llama later. Um, one sec, have to run to my house. Ah, ah, I can't let him see me. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my own house. Running, running. I can't let Preston see me. Oh, oh, he might've seen me, running. I have to get a good spot to watch what's about to happen. He's gonna be so mad. It's another amazing day on the SMP server. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite some time. There's my noble steed, Mr. Larry, holding the fort down for us. Wait, my cows? Kenny and I, no, and the pigs? Yo, we spent so much time getting these guys here. What? Wait, 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 what about the chickens? Wait a second, the chickens are alive, but the cows and the pigs are gone. Mm-hmm. All right, this is kind of suspicious, guys. Now, I know on the server we have Kenny, but why would Kenny harm what we have created? And then on top of Kenny, we have John and Keith and Brianna on the server, but I know Brianna loves animals. She wouldn't hurt them. It means it's gotta be John and Keith. All right, Brianna, I need her to get down to the bottom of this. Maybe she saw what happened to my beautiful pigs and my cows. I hate the fact that I've now lost both of them. Seriously, what the heck? Wait, what's that sound? Wait! T TNT. Somebody booby trapped Brianna's house. Who in the heck did this? I can't believe somebody tried to kill my wife. Oh my goodness, you guys. That was supposed to get him. One second. I have to go confront Preston. Preston? Wait, Bree, you're on the server? Yeah. Bree, I just protected you like a guardian angel. Somebody tried to blow you up with a really, really, really bad TNT trap. I don't know who did it on the server. Probably John or Keith, but they have no idea what they're doing. Seriously, though, you could have been seriously injured. That's why you have to wear armor like me. I would have died if I was naked like you, Bree. Preston, thank you. 
so much because um, I could have died. I was going to die. I'm, 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 I'm awesome, Brie. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. awesome as a possum, but Brie, I got to log off the server. I got videos to record, and all I've got to eat is apples. So I'll see you next time, Tater Tot. <laughs>